hello friends welcome back to my channel i hope all of you are doing well so guys in today's video uh, we'll understand how we can create a window slave using a websocket method okay so let's start our video so this is our jenkins console so firstly what we need to do we can go to manage jenkins and then we can go to notes and here we can go to new note here we can give any name to the node that you want to give as a windows slave so we have given test slave then we need to select permanent agent and then we need to click on create and after that uh, in the name already it is coming test slave description we can leave as it is blank number of executor keep one remote directory <coughs> let's create my remote directory on the windows machine so we'll go to windows machine and here on the C drive, we'll create a folder with name Jenkins. Okay, we'll copy this path and we'll place it in remote root directory. That is done. Label we can give any label you can give here. So we'll use this label to execute job on this particular Windows agent. Usage we can keep only build jobs with label expression matching this node. And we can select the method launch agent by connecting it to the controller. In the custom work directory path, we can put the same path. Okay. And here we need to select use WebSocket checkbox. So we'll use WebSocket method in order to connect Jenkins master to Jenkins Windows slave. And then we can keep this agent online as much as possible in availability section. We can keep all these options as it is. Click on save. So now you are seeing that test slave has been created and it is showing a cross mark. So as of now it is offline. So we'll click on this test slave. And here these command needs to be performed on Windows agent that we want to make it as a slave to this master. But when we create a slave, then the prerequisite for that slave on windows is that we need to install java on that particular slave so we'll go to windows machine and then we'll type uh, open gtk 17 download for windows we'll click on this link and then we'll download firstly the java on this particular windows machine which we are going to create as a slave to that jenkins master so we'll click on this java sc 17 then we'll click on this Windows 1064 Java Development Kit. It is getting download. So it is now downloaded. We'll click on the folder and we'll extract this zip. So we'll do an extract all and then we'll do extract. Okay, so this may take some time. So let it be extract so that we can see that what binaries we are getting under this zip okay so here we are getting jdk-17 as a folder so we'll copy this folder and we'll again go to c drive and in this drive we'll create a folder with name java and we'll go in this folder then we'll paste this binary here okay so now we need to go till bin we can copy this path and we need to set an environment variable so we'll search for environment variable so we'll click on it and then we'll go with environment variables and here in the system variable uh, we'll click on path and then we'll click on edit and we'll click on new and then we'll paste the complete path here okay this is done after that we'll click in user variables for this particular user so we'll click on new and here we'll set our java underscore home so we'll type in variable name as java underscore home and in variable value we'll paste value till jdk 17 with a backslash and we'll click on ok and we'll click on OK and we'll click on OK. So we'll close this, we'll close this and now we can open a CMD prompt and we can check whether Java has been 
installed and properly set or not so we'll type a command java hyphen hyphen version okay so we can see that jdk has been set it completely now i will go back to our jenkins master console and we'll copy this command so we'll copy it this is basically an agent.jar that it will get download by using this master's machine ip so we'll go to slave machine here we need to go to the path that we have created that is a jenkins folder and then we'll place this command so now this command has been ran we'll go to jenkins folder and we are seeing that agent.jar has been downloaded now the second step is saying that we need to run this particular command in order to make a jnlp request to this master using websocket so we'll run it here and now we can see that it is connected so let's go to our jenkins master we'll go to notes and here you are seeing that there is no cross mark and here it is showing one idle process and there is no offline message so now our slave is perfectly connected with the master now we can check whether this connectivity is working properly or not so we'll create a freestyle job and uh, we'll do installation of notepad plus plus on this particular windows machine so if we'll go to this windows machine then if we type notepad so it is only notepad here as of now notepad plus plus is not installed here so what we'll do we'll go to dashboard then we'll click on new item here we'll give any name suppose a test name we have given to the project then we'll click on freestyle project and then we'll click on ok now we need to go restrict where this project can be run so here we'll select our label so our label name is test slave so guys first time when you type test it is giving test slave but when you click on it it is showing that no agent cloud matches this label expression did you mean test slave instead of test so what we'll do there is one space just remove that space so again you are seeing this name click on it and now it is saying label test slave matches one node so now we are good because uh, our slave is now recoverable from here after that we'll scroll it down we are not using any repository here we are just going to execute a windows batch command so i have noted a batch command here in this notepad so this is basically a powershell script we are going to execute where we'll download this notepad plus plus from this github url and then we'll install this notepad plus plus in a silent way so we'll just copy this complete command and we'll paste it here so what this command is doing here i'm just going till where powershell.exe so it always remain inside c windows system 32 windows powershell then version inside it and then we are starting a process powershell with the verb as run as because we want to open a prompt with administrator we want to run this particular command as an administrator so we are doing it after that i have put it the semicolon because i want to execute all the command in a single command so then I have invoke a web request hyphen URI where I have given the URI of the Notepad++ installer. Then I have used hyphen out file. There I have given the, given the same name of the Notepad installer. And then I have put in this semicolon. After that I went out to the same path and just press slash s. So this is basically a switch of installing Notepad++ silently. So now we'll save it. And we'll click on build now. So this job is getting executed so let's wait it is currently in progress so let's see whether it got successfully executed or not okay so it is a green tick it means it is success we'll go to this job then we'll go to console output and here we are seeing that this particular job has been completed and with an exit zero started it means it is successfully done let's check on our windows slave whether that notepad plus plus has been installed or not so if we'll search this notepad so here you can see that 
this notepad plus plus has been installed now and we can use this notepad plus plus as it is so guys this was the way how we can connect our master with jenkins windows slave using the websocket method and we have also installed one software to this particular windows machine so we are done with today's video and i'll see you in my next video